What's going on YouTube? It's your boy G and once again we are in the bird room. Glad to have you guys like always. Remember, I do this for you guys. I don't do this for myself. For those who know me out there in the world can vouch for me. And another thing about me is I like to help out new members doesn't matter if it's in the finch world or in the pigeon game. If let's say um, an owl finch, you know, pet store selling for 150, some breed is selling for 100. If a friend of mine or anybody that's coming into new into the sport, half the price. That's it. I like to help out. I want to see people start. It's impossible to see people start something that it's a very expensive hobby. Keeping these birds alive costs a lot of time, a lot of energy. If you have them outside, you got to have a heating system. You got to have a ventilation system. Okay. If not, you'll be under respiratory attack. Because these birds get ear sac mites, they get it all. So you want to make sure everything is right. And that takes time, effort, and money. Cages, these cages cost $65, depending on where you go, each cage. You might get it for $45 if you're lucky, if you're on sale. But $65 each cage. All right, these cages, $45 each cages, depending where you are in the US of A's. All right, these cages down here is $80. A nest box, I paid $8 for each one of these nest box. $2, I think, for each one of these drinkers. I have over a hundred drinkers. What I like to do is, I used to have my whole cage set up. So I'll put all the drinkers like this. When it's time to change the drinkers, I take them all out and I have a new batch waiting for me in a bag. So I just take the new batch, fill it up with water and just shove them in. So now I can go home, wash these while the new batch is on the cage and the birds can drink. That's what I like to do. So I bought over a hundred drinkers just so I can do that program system. You know, instead of taking all these out, going in the house, wash them all up, come back, fill them all up. No, I don't have time to wash them that same day. I let it soak in the bleach. Okay, that's what I used to do. Let it soak in bleach and bring them out two days later and put them in. That's how I did it. And that's how I still do it. So it costs a lot of money. Feed. Feed nowadays. I think I pay 30 something dollars a bag. You know, I think it's a 50 pound bag. 30 something bucks. These are things to be like, $20 back in the day, you know, 19 something. Now it's 30, 36, I think it is. So it's like buying four bags, two bags of canaries and two bags of finch feed. And, you know, egg food and mealworms and other types of, of seeds. Because if you just have, uh, what is it called? The, the, the white. I'm going brain fog, guys, but um, a lot of the finch mix, they sell like high fat seeds, you know, you got to keep your birds on a diet once it's off season. So you have to get your own mix. I kind of tend to do a, uh, my own mix on the off season. You don't want to keep your birds on the same seed through all year round. You don't want to do that. It's not good. And another thing, when you take your birds off that high rich seed, it tells their body that, hey, slow it down. There's no more high fat seeds. We can't keep breeding the way we are. It's time to stop. 
let's go into a malt. You know, that's what it does. But other than that, I just candle my eggs, my finch, my finch, our finch eggs. I have five in here, six in here. Why do I have six in here? These guys, I just put the basket in, and somebody's laying eggs in, in, the, in the feeder, and they're all good. I believe those two on the far over there is from a, uh, the charcoal zebra finch pair. But this one here, I don't know. I think it's a ghoulian or a parafinch, one of the two. We'll find out once it's born. They're, 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 they got blood in them, so they got the veins. They're all good. But this cage is the owl finch here. I just put this nest box in here for them. And I just put this nest box here yesterday and I threw the eggs in and they took it because these eggs were under here and I needed them to raise the owl finch eggs. So I just took it saying, oh, well, if they don't take it, they don't take it, it dies. But they took to it within two hours, not even. As Soon as I put the eggs in, I put the nest in the day, like two days before, and then I put the eggs in on the third day and they took it right away. The same day I put the eggs, the same, like the same second, real, literally. Boom, laid it on it. So that's why these birds are great. You know, they increase the population of our birds. A lot of people don't like to use society finches. They think it's bad, it's no good. But I think it's a great, I think it's a great idea. I really do. I don't think there's anything better in the world than to increase your population three times quicker at the end of the breeding season. Instead of having, let's say, six Goulians, now you have 26 Goulians. You follow me? It's the best thing. You can't go wrong. But see, the thing is with the society finches, just like any other animal or human being, if you take a, like a, let's say a, a a year, a yearling society finch is the same thing saying, hey, one of our kids is going to get pregnant at 19 and let's see how good of a mother she is. She's not going to know as much as a 30 year old, you know, pregnant woman. That's how I like to compare, you know, stuff to. So I like to wait for my societies to at least be two years of age so they don't be in that you know, juvenile stage where they don't know how to do take care of stuff. They just sit on the eggs and they won't feed the babies compared to two years old. They'll sit on the eggs and they want to feed the babies, you know. So patience in the bird world will give you success. Just got to have that patience. Sorry about that light guy. That, that thing's bothering me. But anyways, I candle the eggs. I got five eggs in here. Sorry to bother you again, mama. No, I'm not gonna take you out. I got five eggs in there. All have veins. Every single one of them. Nice, strong veins. And you can see the heart, the little pumping. Boom, 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 boom. So, they're all good. They got six eggs. And every single one of them is good as well. So, five, six, 11 eggs, plus two in there, 13. So I just increase my owl finch population by breeding two pairs of owl finches. Gave me two, well that one gave me two clutches already. First clutch was three eggs. Second clutch was five eggs. Her first clutch, six eggs. So, all five have veins, all six has veins. You following me? Now the owl finch is gonna lay again. Well, they're on dummy eggs. I'm gonna let them sit on the dummy eggs for at least another week or maybe 10 more days so they can recoup. And that time I give her 
um, calcium in the water, lots of calcium in the water, okay? Eggshell, protein. I want to build her back up before she starts laying again. That's a lot of, that's what we don't do with our birds most of the times. We don't give the birds time. We want to say, oh my God, my, my society pair is on dummy eggs. I got to get these birds to pump more eggs out. Oh yeah, you're going to have those birds pump more eggs out. She's going to get egg bounded and she's going to die on you. Then what? So the patience is key and it will be success. Okay. If your birds lay the first clutch, give it at least seven days. But in those seven days period, give her liquid calcium in the water so she can replenish herself. Okay. Give her all the greens she can get. Every other day, give her some spinach, lettuce, cabbage, whatever the case may be. A little bit of everything. Okay. Give her the dry egg food with egg food, the real egg with crushed eggshells. Offer it to them. In that week period, offer it at least twice. And two times liquid uh, calcium in the water. And at least twice with greens. And as she's continuing laying, keep that liquid eggshell, uh, keep that liquid calcium in the water. So that can help her. I don't like to go past four clutches. Okay. The fourth clutch, I tend to let the, the owl finch raise it themselves. So on the going to the third clutch, let's see here. Going to the third clutch. This is this is the the pair. Yeah. Go into the third clutch. I like to let them sit on the dummy eggs a little bit longer than I would, because the fourth clutch, this bird is exhausted, and she might not tell you, she might not show it, but her insides, her body, is. We have to take into consideration that it is. And these little tiny things, look how cute they are. Look how beautiful they are. You know? The male is on the right side, the female is on the left. You see on these ones, the bars Am I right? Yeah, I was right. Yeah, that's the male on the left and the female's on the right. Yeah. You can see, I can see it here. You might not be able to see it on the, on the video, but I can tell because the top bar seems thicker on that side, but they're my birds and I would know which one is the male or the female. So, but they are very adorable, nice birds to have in your bird collection. I, I, I'll consider these birds to anyone. And they're not sensitive like a, a Lady Goulian is or what, what else? Some star finches could be some sensitive, uh, parrot finches could be sensitive cutthroats you know these birds can be a little sensitive but owl finches shaft tails you know zebras societies canaries grass mass finch spice finch i mean at least the ones i have here they seem to be a little bit more on the tougher side But that's it, guys. I just wanted to uh, inform you guys that, you know, the owl finch eggs, all 11 of them are fertile and they have veins. And I'm excited. I mean, I know one or two might, you know, go bad inside the nest. That's how it happens. That's how it is. But out of 11, if I can get seven of them, eight of them, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I don't care if I even get five. You know, that's 
five more that I didn't have. And for next year, that's five more pairs I can breed. Well, not five, but you guys know what I mean. Depending on how many males and females, I'll be two pairs I can breed. But guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Everybody's doing good over here. Can't complain. Boolean babies are good. My canary's going into a heavy malt. Like I said, they're laying on these eggs. God knows what they are. That's the downfall of having an aviary where you can't keep an eye on. You know, birds do what they got to do. And that's it. These guys will be laying soon. Hopefully within this week. Uh, she is puffed up. Look at her. She the, the behind the, the legs, that area. It's it's gonna happen anytime now. So I'm gonna change these guys out. I think they're two males. I really do. So I'm gonna get them changing. And uh, I'll figure out what I'm going to put in here. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do this for you guys. You know, um, like, subscribe, share, comment down below. And uh, see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys. Bye-bye now.